talking about the constraint ladder. Use as little constraint as possible. Constraint is the stability provided by the implant irrespective of soft tissue. Congruency, two surfaces match each other's shape. Conformity, two surfaces match each other in movement. M is equal to M, conformity, movement. Congruency, surface matches in shape with each other. Two surfaces matches each other in shape is called congruency. Two surface match in movement is called conformity. Cruci the designs cruciate retaining design. The rollback is good, improve flexion, retain some proprioception, add to AP stability, perform better in three to five degree of posterior slope, low conformity, tibial insert is flat, it's a round or flat design, high contact stresses, more wear, disadvantages, technically difficult to balance this knee. PCL contracture limits balancing in severe deformity. PCL stretches out over time. Less constraint, point loading causes increased wear. Im important to restore posterior tibial slope and posterior condyler offset to achieve high flexion. Posterior stabilized knee. It has a tibial post and a femoral cam to create a femoral rollback. Prevent the femoral condyle from moving forward. Post does not provide various or vulgar stability, but some AP stability. More conformity, round on round design. Some designs have raised anterior edge, that's called anterior stabilized knee. Indication inflammatory arthritis in which the PCL can rupture and is attenuated. Patellectomy where weak extensor mechanism lead to AP instability and subsequent failure of PCL. Flex flexion deformity more than 15 degrees might have to do with PCL release. The patient with deficient PCL and fixed various or vulgus deformity. Disadvantages. Cam can jump and can posterior dislocation if loose inflection. There is more bone cuts. Extra poly is needed. Patellar clunk syndrome. Soft tissue on the superior pole of the patella catches up and cause clinking during active extension. More confirming, more stress transfer to implant bone interface. Constrained non hinge knee. It is a large central post. Deep flexion box to substitute MCL and LCL. This is for various bulgus instability due to MCL, LCL laxity. Do not say failure. If more than 16 mm of poly inserted, use constrained total knee replacement surgery. Most I am aware of is TC3 implant. Constrained hinge linked prosthesis. This is a mobile bearing allowing rotation to reduce loosening due to rotational forces. Indication is global multiligamentous instability, polio, uh, massive bone loss, knee resection for tumor or infections, intermediary stem to address high rotational forces.